Uh, hello everyone, uh, nice to meet you. My name is Daeyoung Kim and I graduated from the Rutgers University uh, SPA, SPAA, and I uh, also finished the core courses, PhD level core courses of the University of Kentucky Martin School, uh, the public administration and public policy, the PhD level core courses I finished. And today's lecture topic is the COVID-19 crisis exit policy and worldwide fair trade policy. Uh, public performance management and international policy cooperation and private cooperation are necessary for overcoming the COVID-19 crisis. Thus, the, over the public performance indicators and public performance measures and uh, public incentive programs and e-government over the systems and, and so on and other the, the civic engagement the indicators or something like that all these things can be used for the uh, for overcoming the COVID-19 crisis and international uh, policy cooperation is very important and also the private cooperation uh, is very important for overcoming the COVID-19 crisis uh, wearing the such as the, uh, the wearing the face masks and uh, sometimes the uh, and the social distancing and so on are necessary for overcoming the coming out crisis. Thus, uh, uh, public performance management, international policy cooperation, and private cooperation are necessary for overcoming the coming out crisis. And service industries and low-income people have been impacted much, impacted especially negatively much by COVID-19 crisis. And automation has been accelerated by COVID-19 crisis and job uh, uh, crisis is linked to the automation. Thus, COVID-19 should be overcome, overcome in the future uh, because the uh, job crisis is linked to the automation and automation has been accelerated by COVID-19 crisis. Um, many scholars have researched uh, these topics. And yeah, the, the especially the service industries and low-income people have been impacted much by COVID-19 crisis. Yeah, thus the worldwide sightseeing industry and over the worldwide teaching industry or the worldwide uh, worldwide universities or something like that have been impacted negatively much impacted negatively much much by COVID-19 crisis this uh, COVID-19 should be overcome in the future and we should overcome the COVID-19 crisis and return to our normal lives in the future and also simultaneously medical industries and bio industries should be developed in the future because human health levels are linked to the human capital levels and labor productivity levels and also human capital levels and labor productivity levels uh, are linked to the economic growth levels thus the medical industries and bio industries should be developed uh, in the future and worldwide fair trade policy is necessary for the fair competition and worldwide peace G20 and WTO or other the international cooperation tools such as the G7 G7 can be used simultaneously anyway G20 and WTO can be used for the worldwide fair trade policy especially Chinese government should change the economic policy direction uh, the made in China 2025 policy in the Chinese government is using the strategic the strategic uh, trade policies and many subsidies 
many the financial subsidies and monetary subsidies are given to the Chinese companies and thus in the future foreign companies should be treated fairly by Chinese government in the future and Chinese government uh, need to imitate the USA government of the policies, economic policies, because USA government uh, has emphasized the fair trade, uh, fair competition among the USA com USA the companies among USA companies, uh, Korean companies, Chinese companies, and so on. Thus, Chinese government should change the economic policy direction, and foreign companies should be treated fairly by Chinese government in the future. The Chinese, the entry-level industries and companies can be spurred by the Chinese government, but, uh, but in cases of the Chinese industries that have the global competitive advantages, uh, in those cases, the Chinese government should focus more on the fair trade, fair competition, fair trade and fair competition in the future, fair competition and fair trade, especially fair competition among Chinese companies USA companies, Korean companies, and so on. The Chinese government should change the economic policy direction. Yeah, and Chinese government need to imitate the USA governmental policies, economic policies, and USA governmental economic policy directions and economic policies and economic policy directions in the future. Now we can improve the qualities of our lives by overcoming the COVID-19 crisis developing medical industries, bio-industries, and making worldwide fair trade system. We can change the world together, and we should change the world together. Thank you. And today, uh, we analyze the COVID-19 exit policy and worldwide the fair trade policy and uh, we should overcome the covenant crisis and we should make the worldwide fair trade system thank you thank you again and i hope your i hope your happy life i hope your uh, happy lives and happiness all the time thank you i hope you're Healthy lives and happiness all the time. Thank you. Thank you.